Zach here. Today we are going to continue with our W3 Schools series. And the topic of the day is uh, how to create a slideshow. So um, on W Schools, um, there is a um, very detailed uh, tutorial on how to create a slideshow. And then you can try the um, um, example here but I make a simplified version of the slideshow because the key of the slideshow is changing the image so I remove all the other features like the numbers the caption and the dock navigation in the and the button just keeping the image and the arrow control, arrow navigation to control the change of the photos. So if you can understand these parts, I don't think, um, I mean, you can totally understand you, um, the rest of the features, like you can add um, the rest um, by yourself. So let's take a look at um, how to create a slideshow here. So I break it down into four steps. So first, you need to hide all the images in your slides, in your slideshow, uh, by using display none. And then you use um, the slide index to control your, uh, which image to show in JavaScript. Uh, before you show, you display a um, new image you need to hide all the image because um, actually you only want to hide the image that is showing now and replace it with a new image but you are not sure which one is showing now so the easiest way is to hide all the image and then show your new image uh, with the left and right arrows uh, when they are clicked you change the index if the left one uh, was kicked, you uh, minus you minus one. You minus the um, you change the index to minus to a negative one. If it's the right one, you want to plus one. Okay. If the index um, exceeds the total number of the images, um, you, you need to reset it to one. And if it's lower than zero, you need to set it to the total number of the image so that it's a circle and then you can ex execute the show slides function to show the um, new image according to the index yep that's um, the basic logic behind the slideshow now let's uh, log into the example first we start with um, the HTML as you can see we have a container here and then we got three uh, image and uh, arrow control arrow navigation yeah in the arrow navigation we have the um, on click event with the event function change slides so when the previous uh, button is click we change uh, we change the index by minus one and if it's the next we want to add one it's a po uh, positive one yeah and then We'll take a look at the CSS. First, we hide all the image by uh, changing, uh, changing the display setting property to none. And then in the slideshow container, we set the position to relative. That's because we want to position the arrow uh, in the middle, like vertically, uh, of the, uh, in the center of the image so um, for that we need to set the arrow um, position to be absolute and then we can change the top uh, according to w3 school uh, the position absolute setting uh, is an element with position absolute is position relative to the nearest position ancestor which means um, a position's ancestor is one whose position is anything except static and static is the default value 
that's why we need to change the position of the slide container to relative so that it's not static and then these two will be positioned according to their container yep so here in the two narrows we have the um, mm -hmm. position setting and then set um, the top to 50 percent that means the arrow will be uh, displayed starting from the 50 percent of the of the high of the image but the arrow itself um, occupies some uh, space like it has its own high so when you set it to 50 percent it will be below 50 percent because it starts from the top of the arrow starts from uh, 50 percent so we need to do another thing which is to set the margin top to be minus to be a negative um, value so that the arrow will move up a little bit because it's negative and it's margin top and uh, the number of this value is about half of the high of the arrow yeah so that the center of the arrow will be at around 50 percent of the high of the image yeah. and then um, lastly we need to move the next um, arrow to the right so we set the right to be zero yeah that's it and finally the javascript first of all we we have a variable called light index and we set it to one at the very beginning and run show slides right away according to the index so the first image will be show because we hide all the image in our css and then we are showing the first one in our javascript and the uh, change slides for the arrow um, event on click event so we change the index that's all we do and we change the index by adding the parameter so if it's negative this means minus one if it's the next but next arrow it's plus one right and we run the show slides to show um, which slide uh, we want to dis display and then the key is the show slides uh, function here we pass in the index of the image we want to show and first we get all the uh, slides by using document get elements by class name and then uh, we check if the index is still in range so if the index is uh, larger than the um, number of the images which is the slide stop length we reset the index to one if it's lesser it's smaller than one we change the slide index to be the uh, number of the images and next we want to hide all the images uh, well as i said before we want to hide the image that is showing now but we don't know which one that is so we hide all the images so we use a for loop to hide all the images and finally we displace the image according to our index because the index is the starts from one and the of um an array starts from zero so we want to minus the uh, index by one and display it as a block that's how you show uh, new images well that's the that's how a slideshow is created so in the w3 schools example um, there are some other features 
you can take a look at their um, code if you can understand um, the fundamental of a slideshow I believe you would have no problem adding all these features by yourself if you want to take a look at the simplified code I put it in onto the github in the same repository okay that's all for today thanks for watching i'll see you next time